Hi, this is Alf from Metalworks Institute, and today we're going to be talking about the plugins that you place on a master fader and how they react to the level of the master fader. I'm just going to insert a compressor on the master fader, which is actually quite common for people to do. Here's my compressor here. I'm going to press play on this session. And you'll notice Avid plugins, when they come up, they come up already with settings on them, and I'm just going to alter this a little bit so that it makes more sense in terms of being on the output of a master track. Now the interesting part that a lot of people are not aware of is that when you do place a plugin on the master fader, if I alter the level of the master fader in Pro Tools, what ends up happening is it does actually alter how your compressor, in this case, is working. So the insert is what we consider post fader. And as I drop the level of the master fader, you will notice if you're watching the plugin that the plugin starts compressing less, which is an interesting part because what you want to remember is that any alterations that you do to the master fader will affect the actual sound of the overall mix. If you want any more information about becoming AVID certified or our online courses, please visit metalworksinstitute.com.